everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to Friday craft time today we're going to be working on a wreath I'm going to do another petal wreath and but today I'm going to be using one of the uh, 10 inch forms that I got at hmm I think craft outlet a while back the last time I looked they didn't have any but this is the time of year where nobody has anything it's very discouraging but anyway, I have one and we're going to use it today. And we're going to use leftovers. I have some leftover black poly burlap. And I have some leftover white or light cream. I'm not sure exactly which it would be called poly burlap. And, so, and I have some leftover something else. <laughs> so we're going to try to make one of those petal wreaths that we made the other day that doesn't ravel uses the zip ties and see if we can't make a pretty black and white wreath I love black and white together so uh, I'm hoping that it'll come out fine this is probably going to be part one because I have yet to make the center that will go in the wreath I have somewhat of an idea that I'm going to play around with but uh, as I said, I'll have to play around with it. So we're going to get the wreath done today. And on part two, we'll do the center. So let me take you down over to the other desk. We're working upstairs today because it's hot downstairs. And let me take you over to the other desk and we'll get started on our flower petal leftover poly burlap wreath. Be right back. Okay, so like I said, I'm working with leftovers here. I have some leftover white, and I have leftover black. I've already made my black petals, and then I'm using the 10-inch frame this time, not a 12 or 14, but this is a 10-inch frame. I've already put the plastic on the inside, and I have put a couple on just, just to check to see how they were going to work, if how many I'm going to need. I'm going to start by putting two in each section and we're going to take it from there. I have got the black ones which is row one done but I'm going to just share with you again how to make this petal. This is a 10 by 10. I'm going to go corner to corner. And it doesn't have to be perfectly even. Okay, and I'm going to think of this as being divided in thirds. A third here, a third in the middle, and a third here. So I'm going to pleat it at the beginning of that third, and I'm going to pleat it at the beginning of this third. I've got two pleats, and now I'm just going to walk the side pieces in, and walk the side pieces in. So then I have all four pieces together, and I can pinch them together and make my petal. You take a zip tie. You want to go around the petal, making sure you've got all of the end pieces to get inside the zip tie. And I've got my little gizmo here that I got last time. Works like a charm. So that's how you make your petal. And the most difficult part is cutting off this because it's very thick. And that there is another instrument you can get to do this with. Uh, and if I were going to be making this kind of petal a lot, I would probably invest in one. So there's the petal and how it's going to look. Let's do one more. This is a 10 by 10. I'm going to make it corner to corner. I'm going to pinch up that third. I'm going to pinch up this third. And while I'm holding those two, I'm just going to kind of push these end pieces in. And I'm going to push this end piece in. So I have A petal and I'm going to take a zip tie and go around the petal 
and I'm going to go to the back of it and put it in my little zip tie guy and he just tightens it and cuts it off. This is called the zip tie puller and you can get them on Amazon or a cable tie puller. You can put zip tie though, that'll find it. Okay, so I will do the rest of those in a bit. Let's start putting some on the frame. And right now I'm planning to put two on each section. I'm starting on the second ring. And again, another zip tie. And the easiest thing to do is to get the zip tie on first and then put the pedal down. And then if you didn't lose the zip tie in the meantime, like I just did. <laughs> okay, zip tie on first. Here we go. Pedal down. And make sure you get your pedal right side up. I almost put that one upside down. And a zip tie around it. And get it on. And I can use this or I can just tighten them and use my um, wire cutters. Alright, let's do another one. Zip tie on first using the second row around the pedal. And pull it tight. I'm going to use this only because it can get it tighter than I can. Maybe. And you know what it is. I don't have my glasses on. And I can't see the way to put this in the thing. Never mind. <laughs> I'll cut it off. And when I stop the camera and come back in a minute, I'll have my glasses on. So that is two petals per section. And it seems to be working because they're meeting up with each other, but they're not overlapping, as you see. Okay, let's do one more section here. Zip tie on first, pedal, well, dingy witsits. I'll get my glasses and then I'll be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> and one more for this section. Doesn't take long to get around here. And that's that section. And they will still move a little if you just need to spread them out just a bit or put, get them closer. We'll probably get all the way around this first level without any problem. Right side up. And I see a mistake. See this one right here? That's upside down. So, we're going to attempt to cut that off. There we go. Turn it over and put it on the right direction.
See, you want the pleats to be up. And that one had the valleys up. Or the mountains and valleys, we can call them. We want the mountains up. Mountains up, zip tie in, There's one more section. A zip tie in. Mountains up. And don't lose the zip tie. There we go. One more. Oop, a little cutting mat. There we go, all the way around the outside. So 10 does it nicely on the 10 inch frame. This is easy to remember, 10 inch frame, 10 petals. I'm going to put a couple more white ones on and then I have to stop and make some more of the white petals and I'll come back when we get that done. So this one I'm going to the third wire. And I'm going to put my zip tie in. And I'm basically putting one in between each of the others. So there should be ten white petals also. heaven's sakes I've been doing this for hours and all of a sudden I can't do it at all here we go zip tie in pedal on See how that's looking? I'm going to make a few more petals and I will be back when they're ready. All right, I have the rest of the white ones made. Let's get those on. Making sure I'm putting them on right side up.
There's some thunder out there today. Not unusual for Florida in the summertime. And two more to go. Now I know when we made the other ones, you can't. I could not get the same amount in the inner ring, and I don't think I'd get the same amount in the inner ring here either. them a little bit and there you go second row now I did tell you that this is all leftover and guess what I don't have any more black burlap poly burlap but I do have black deco mesh so guess what we're going to make the inside ones with just got to get this phone hold on okay I don't know how many this is going to take so I'm going to start by cutting um, probably seven. Oh, I was going to say I lost my rotary cutter. There it is. Well, that was almost good. People have asked, can you do this with the deco mesh? Yes, you can. Um, it just isn't as stiff as the poly burlap, so the petals don't hold the, their shape quite as much. Three. Four. Yeah, hi, I'm recording. Six. Seven. Whoop. Okay, let me show you. You can make the same kind of petal. Of 
put it in a corner, pleat it up here, pleat it up here. You have to just be a little careful with the deco mesh that you're getting both layers because it, it will slip more than the poly burlap does. And then you bring in the sides. Squeeze it together, and there's your petal. And Do one more. Corner to corner. Pleat this third. Pleat this third. Bring in the sides. Bring in the side. Get all four pieces together and squeeze them. Now this mesh is a little stiffer than some meshes because it has, um, I don't know what it has in there, lines of something. <laughs> so it does hold its shape. Some of your deco meshes wouldn't hold its shape for you, I don't think as well. Alright, I'm going to bring the wreath back and we're going to put a couple of these on and then I'll finish it off camera. Now, here's what I have to do here. I'm going to determine where I need to put one of these and I'm going to put one right here. Okay, so I'm making, putting my finger down and I'm looking to see where I'm going to put the zip tie. I'm going to go and I'll skip two or three and come back up. Okay, now I will take my petal. and pretty it has a shine to it all right let's look for the next one now the next one I'm going to put because I want them to just kind of meet each other okay so I'm going to put the next one right here so I can see I'm going to go down here and up in a couple of ones over My mountains up. Okay. Looking good. All right, I'm going to, I have to cut off the rest of these tails, so I will be back in just a minute. Okay, I have got all of those on, and look at that. Isn't that pretty? It actually is really quite pretty because it has a shimmer to it. Now here's the next issue. This is what's going to be in the center. But as you notice, right now, it's just a piece of 
styrofoam <laughs> because I haven't made the center yet. So actually, not to keep you here for three and a half hours, that's going to be our part two. I don't know for sure what I'm going to do. My original thought was to use some leaves like so and then put these white flowers all around it and have the inside of the wreath See if I can just put a couple more have the center made by white flowers basically and I might just put like a few of the green leaves right in the middle because I don't want them sticking way out in front of the wreath and then the flowers and they'd have to be glued I think that'll look pretty so I'm going to work on that and that's going to be our part two of our floral wreath not sure if it'll be up tomorrow or if it's not up tomorrow it'll be up Tuesday but I think that's how I'm going to go and you see if I take these leaves and put them about here gluing them I can put a little glue down on the side and it will cover the foam on the side but I can also put a petal down that way too can't really tell when it's not flattened down but anyway I'm going to try making that on this piece of foam and if it doesn't look good when we come back I'll be making a different kind of center but that's going to be the center for our floral wreath and I think the the wreath itself is really pretty. I'm enjoying it. I love the black and white. So, and you know, this isn't all that much smaller than the one I made before, even though the other one is on a bigger frame. These petals make a nice size wreath. So that's all I have for you today. I will be back with part two, either tomorrow or Tuesday, because Sunday we're going to play with some dough. And we'll fill in the center and finish up this beauty. So until then, everybody stay safe, stay healthy, play by the rules, keep your distance, and everybody play nice now. Until I see you again, love you. Bye-bye.